Welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. I'm Jeff Allison and thank you for watching. been a while. Um, I started to do a video well, about two weeks ago or I started the video. I got, I got, uh, oh, I don't know, a few minutes of it filmed out and I, I just realized that I really hadn't, I didn't have that much information to pass along at the time and I didn't have um, really any, any uh, work going on. So it, it's just been real busy around here since the uh, since SEMA so here we are back it's uh, 12th of December and I'm gonna try and have this out for you by Saturday maybe uh, maybe a little early this week but for sure by Saturday um, I say that and we'll see what happens but anyway the uh, the things that have been going on where we had SEMA and I took a bunch of time off for that from my regular job so Kind of had to make up that time and then of course we ran into uh, thanksgiving so you have you know a pretty solid week worth of family events going on then that that ate up a bunch of time and in the meantime i've been trying to get stuff cleared out of this shop and stored in the other shop because it's not usable yet but it is dried in um and that the guys that are going to be finishing the skylights and all the trim and gutters and all that probably won't be back till after the first of the year. So really right now it's just a giant shed. Um, but I've been trying to get some stuff done out there, trying to get a little bit of electrical work done and stuff. But it, it's coming along, but it's real slow because I really haven't had any time to work in here. And I really haven't had any time to work out there. Um, additionally, for my job, as we came into December, every year I'm required to go out and do additional training and and check rides um, so that all that's always December for me and uh, this year we did it uh, last week so that finally cleared out you know I was able to to get past all the study and all the review I needed to do for that so that I could kind of get back in here so I've got free time again which means I can get back to this and with that knowledge um, I I, uh, you'll see in the other video, I split the car and got it ready to go, got the uh, frame and some other parts ready to go to powder coat, and they're actually back. So I'm going to show you that video right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Allison Customs Project Car TV. Today, um, well, hey, let me back up. So I haven't really done any videos since SEMA, and that's just became, because of, you know, between uh, uh, SEMA taking up four days and I had to catch up with work and and uh, then a lot of the stuff I've been doing is actually kind of just boring to watch, which, you know, basically breaking down a frame or whatever. So that's where we're at though. Um, the frame is completely broke down, body split off, every suspension component split out, all the finish welding that needed to be done on the frame has been done. Um, I've got a parts box over here in the corner with all the suspension and all, everything else that's going. And all this stuff is going to powder coat. And that's why the forklift's in here. Got the uh, frame strapped to it. So I just gotta go out and get a truck, hook onto a trailer, set the frame in on the trailer, and then uh, off the powder coat, I'll go with all the parts. There are a few things that I'm not quite done tweaking that, that uh, will go to powder coat, but that was going a second trip or probably even a third trip before we're really done. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for hanging in there. Uh, get this stuff loaded up. Maybe uh, for as I get it outside in the light, I'll show you some of the stuff I had to finish up on it. Maybe go through some of the parts. Good way to video document what I'm taking to powder coat anyway. Um, but I'll show you some of the parts that are in the box and, and uh, then we'll get loaded up.
see the rear axle got it all uh, empty out and ended up loading on a jack pad place to jack up the car um, and then in the box I've got just a lot of the parts we've been making um, lower radiator brackets control arms uh, front control arm front upper control arm uh, headlight bus, bezels buckets uh, I got a grill in the brand new grill in the back seat of the truck uh, rod ends I've already taken all the bushings out so that's the kind of stuff that's here um, essentially when I get all this back I should be able to make the frame a roller with the brakes calipers everything go ahead and get my brake lines and fuel lines run set the engine and transmission back in it <clears throat> and yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, now we're off to go see the powder coater. Let him get started. And I'm going to show you some uh, detail, some of the stuff here in the shop now. But I've also been working on the firewall on the car, trying to get some things done on it to make nice, you know, to get the uh, indentations and stuff we needed for the high pressure fuel pump done. Um, I've got a little bit of more, more work to do up here today, and then the goal is to get this on the rotisserie today. Um, I've got cars that, of my own that need oil changes, so I really kind of need my lift. So if I can get this out of here and get the and uh, get everything on the lift in and out today. That may be today or, or it may end up being my next set of days off. But I'll show you some, uh, I'm probably not gonna show you the firewall today with this video, but use it for a video, the next week's video. Um, so anyway, I've got that coming. I will show you the, the uh, frame and some of the other parts. And um, anyway, I, I got messages from people asking, hey, what's going on? Hadn't heard from you. Um, thank you. Uh, the most recent one, so anybody else, I'm forgetting names, I'm sorry, but uh, Eric from out in uh, Hawaii, he uh, sent me an email this morning and prompted me to, to get back on some stuff here. So um, I got some Facebook messages out today and then uh, answered a few emails and answered Eric's. So thank you, Eric. Um, otherwise, um, Let's see, we got parts back from powder coat. I'm slowly getting the next set of parts to go to powder coat done. I just, I, I've got a few things I want done. I've got a lot of materials in, mostly for the body here. I've got to finish getting the seats mounted as part of getting this thing on the rotisserie, but um, it's all coming along and we're back on it hard now until uh, at least till the week of Christmas. And then plans are still to have the car in paint mid-February, so all of it needs to be done by then, so we're just going to keep hammering away and see what we get. So, again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and I appreciate all the calls and checking in on me. So, we'll get on. All right, so the frame is back with, along with the rear axle. I also have the front suspension parts, so I'll uh, get those out and get those laid out, and then we'll show you all that. And uh, But uh, it's a real nice finish. The guys did a great job. Um, New image powder coat. Oh, well, guys, I'm sorry. I, I thought I had a card. I was going to put it up here. Anyway, it's new image powder coating over in Farmington, New Mexico. Um, they're about 20 to 25 miles from me. Um, they did a fantastic job. It's a little dusty now because I sat outside all day yesterday on the trailer until I could get some help to get brought in. Um, but uh, nice, smooth finish. Satin black with the custom pick. It's just, it's phenomenal. Very happy with it. 
So that's done, the rear hatch is done, and then like I said, uh, I'm gonna go out and get the uh, front suspension, and we'll get all that stuff laid out. Kinda, kinda get everything laid out so we can start assembly probably next week again. Well, there it is, guys. I know it's kinda hard to see in the screen there, but um, of course these weren't the powder coaters, but we've got new stainless steel brake lines that need to go on. Um, upper and lower control arms. Of course we have to press all the bushings back in, ball joints. Uh, of course, in the lowers, not the uppers. Um, ball joint has to be pressed back into the spindle. Uh, some of you may remember I redesigned the uh, drive shaft tube. So we've got the drive shaft tube pieces, transmission cross member, of course, the rear axle, all the rear axle suspension parts. Um, probably have a good third of the material that, a third of to uh, half of the material that's going to get powder coated done. And then the rest will be coming in in the near future. I'll be uh, finishing up those items and getting those over to powder coat. So it's coming along, but that's where we're at. I'll probably start the assembly on this, like I said, on my next set of days off next week, and we'll move forward there. For those of you who are noticing, the Mustang is no longer in here. I was able to move that out to the giant shed and giving me room to have the car separated into multiple parts here. So shouldn't be too long. This will be back to a roller and then uh, we'll get airlines and fuel lines and all that run. Um, I had thought I was going to set the engine and transmission in it and then cover the whole thing with plastic and set the body on it when it's all done to go to the painter, but that would uh, eliminate the ability for them to do the firewall work. So um, I'm gonna talk to them about two options. One, bringing it up, letting them spray the firewall and around the surrounding areas, maybe get some of the jam work done, then bringing the body back, setting it on here and taking it back to them so that they can uh, do all the body work with it on the frame or in my, you know, I'd rather make the two trips than the worst case option of we have to pull the front clip or a big chunk of it to get the engine and transmission in after the fact. So um, I'd rather make two trips, go up and get the car, bring it back, bolt it all in, get it squared, and then take it back to them or something. So we'll have to see. Um, it just depends whether they could get it in a little earlier than, than originally planned. So, But those are options and those are things we're looking at. So. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get to work. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com. Hey, guys, welcome back to Allison Customs uh, Project Car TV. So I've got some new T-shirts uh, finally came in. There's black and gray. And the way I'm going to set this up is if you're interested in buying one of the shirts, uh, you'll be able to send a payment through PayPal at uh, jeffrey at allisoncustomsonline.com. I'll put that in the description. I'll also flash it up here on the screen and now uh, they're going to be $20 for the contiguous 48 states uh, and that includes the shipping for both gray and black large and extra large um, I am going to do a deal if you buy three uh, I'll do it for $55 for the three of them so I'll save a little bit there and again there's still just large and extra large on sizes um, any combination of the black and gray and then like I said I'll put some pictures up here after this so you can kind of get a little better view of them but uh, I do want to thank you all for watching all the channels and anybody who was asking about t-shirts finally coming out, here they are. Like I said, $20 through PayPal and I'll put the uh, address up on the screen and in the uh, comments. So have a great day.